is my Interactive Brokers platform configuration for scalping options. I'm a scalper, so I have this set up to where I can take the trades quick, and then I just take quick profits. So I'm in and out really fast. So just to go over exactly how I configured it, because it took me a little bit to get everything the way that I like it. And overall, Interactive Brokers is an awesome broker. The only downside is their TWS software is not necessarily the most user friendly. So it takes a little bit to get used to. And it took me a while to set it up to where, you know, I got everything the way I like it and it looks really good and I can navigate really quick. Instead of building this from the ground up, I'm just gonna show exactly how I have it. But ultimately what Interactive Brokers does is on the very bottom, you know, you can open a new page and then the page is gonna be blank. And it is a plug and play system where you add everything you want and then the pieces can connect all together and then you can set it up and customize it the way you want. So this is how I have it. And then just to go to show how to do that, anytime you wanna add something on the screen, it's just up in this new window. So this is where everything is gonna be. Order entry, watch list, the level two, time and sales, all of it. So how I have it set up. Mainly, I'm focusing on this left side. And this left side, I have a watch list, I have the level two, I have an order entry, and I have a chart, and then I have the time and sales. So the reason why I have this left side is because this is gonna be where I'm focusing on the specific stock. And when I'm trading a specific stock, I wanna see the level two and the time and sales for that specific stock. So I have this watch list and everything all connected. You can connect them through this little chain link at the very top, right here, it's pretty small. But as that window pops up, you can group the windows. So I have all of these grouped. And by grouping it, all you do is click on the chain and you just choose the color in which you want all the things to be grouped. Now, the reason that I have a little bit of a different configuration on the right is because here's where the there's a little bit of a downside with Interactive Brokers, but it's all right. It took me a bit to figure out how to configure it the way that I like. So being that I am trading options, I'm... I need an options chain, right? So I have the watch list and options chain just where I see the orders and then the overall account of what happened, right? So this is how I have it set up. I have these grouped to be a different color so I can quickly switch through different names just based on if I see them setting up. 99% of the time I'm trading Tesla but I do like to watch all the high beta names in general. So if something else is setting up, I quickly want to be able to pull up the options for that specific name to the right. And the reason I do not have this linked to the left is because if I go and start clicking on the options, the level two will change to the option level two. And I do not care to watch the option level two and the time in sales. When I'm trading a stock, I want to see the underlying. I want to see the actual stock level two and time in sales. So this allows me having the right separate allows me to be able to just switch through names. Let's say BYND setting up, click on BYND, check out the, the strikes, what they're trading at, the spreads in general. And then this is where I, it took me a bit to set things up to where it just, it really made me feel good about how I was trading. So I used to have an order entry window just below this option chain right here. And what I would do is I would connect, I connected all of it, I made it this blue color, so let's say I wanted to, all right, Tesla looks like it's in play. Click on Tesla, pull up the options for Tesla. And then, okay, let's say I want to trade this specific strike. It would preload it onto the order entry window just below. But my eyes would be over here looking at the level two. So what I've done is I've kind of I rigged it to where I can, my eyes just have to be in one spot. As you can see right here, this order entry window has the blue chain. It's tied to the option chain. So this is where, unfortunately, Interactive Brokers does not have it where when I click on the option, everything can preload and then the, the level two and the time and sales of the underlying will pull up. It does not do that. There are some other brokers that, that do that where I click on the option that I wanna trade and instead of pulling up the option level two in time and sales, it pulls up the, the stock in general. Let's just go show an example. So let's say I were to connect this level two and I'll make it blue. 
and I say, okay, Tesla looks like it's in play. Let's say I think this is going to go higher. I want to trade the 445 calls. It populates the level two of the call. I don't want to see that. That screws everything up. So this is why I've configured it this way where it can be a little bit of a pain and not necessarily the most smooth, but it works well for me. So I have done this where I configure this over here. So if I quickly want to switch to a stock, let's say I want to go to, let's go look at Microsoft. Click on Microsoft. Everything switches except for the order entry. And then now, okay, I look at Microsoft. I go over to this watch list. That's why I have a double watch list on my window. So that way I click on Microsoft. Let's say I think it's going to go higher. I want to pull up the 200 calls. I can now populate the order entry with the calls. So this is how I'm going about watching the level two and the time and sales while also watching the bid and ask of the options. So I'm submitting and this is all preloaded. I have the quantity preset. So in my presets, I have five. And if for some reason I want to quickly change that because I feel like there is an A plus setup, I can just manually configure that. But this current market is really tough to trade right now. So I, I size down a little bit. I usually traded 10 contracts. I'm trading five. So here's the downside with this is sometimes if I'm interested in trading a different name, there's a few clicks involved in order to have it all set up according to the way I want. But let's say I wanted to trade Apple. I would click on this. Now this brings up the level two, the chart and the time and sales for Apple. Apple's trading at 108. Let's say for some reason I believe that this is going to go lower. I now have to click on the watch list over here to populate the options chain or the options for Apple. So now I click on Apple. It quickly switches over to the options. And let's say I believe this is going to go lower. I want to trade the 107.50 puts this week. Click on them. And it populates this order entry. So now I have the option I'm interested in trading. And it's just below the level two in the time and sales. So this is where my eyes are 90% of the time. The other 10% can be a little bit of flip-flopping. But if anybody's been watching my videos, I'm pretty quick and I'm scalping really fast. And I have not had an issue. There is the downside of having to click on a few different things, which can be a little, little bit of a pain. But overall... I just get used to it and I'm pretty quick. So it's if I want to switch and all right, what is AMD doing? Click on AMD. It populates the chart, the level two, the time and sales. Okay. I think this is going lower. Now I got to click on AMD again over here. So now it, it populates the options I'm interested in trading. And let's say I think this is going to go lower. Okay. And then I just click real quick on the 75 puts and then it populates the order entry just underneath. So I think I've gone through a handful of examples of how that works. This is the only downside to interactive brokers. So this is why I've had to kind of rig it a very specific way. But overall, it's okay. Most of the time, I'm trading Tesla. So I already have the general strike that I want to trade preloaded. And I'm trying to trade strikes that are at the money or just out of the money. So I'm not flip-flopping a lot. Especially if Tesla's trading at a certain level pre-market, I'll go, you know, one or two strikes out so I can let it dance around and then take to position. So that's how I have my interactive brokers platform configured for scalping options. And I know I happened to film this video after a day where I made a few bucks, but it was Friday. So going into the weekend, I just wanted to get a video out there. But don't let this fool you. This month has been a very tough month. I think a lot of traders are, are struggling and it's because it's a, it's a bit of a weaker market. We're range bound and the entries have to be very good. Entry, I'm noticing the entries have to be very, very good. The last two months I got away with sloppy entries. So if, you know, if that initial quick move happens off the open and you miss it or I miss it, and then I continue to try to chase the move higher for, uh, for more momentum upside, that's where the stuffs can happen more often than not just in the current environment because it's range bound, it's a little bit weaker, and it's still trying to figure out what it wants to do. So I'm noticing that entries close to VWAP 
taking advantage of that initial explosive move and then getting out is where the opportunity zones are. Anything after that, and it's at high risk of getting stuffed. So overall, I've been just kind of chopping around. September, like I've mentioned before, is not going to be a very exciting month, but I'm just going to keep plugging away. Don't burn too much mental capital. Try not to turn my account too much and just see another day. So hopefully this video was relatively clear and you're able to see how I have it configured. Obviously, this is just my personal way of going about it. And unfortunately, there is the downside of having to finagle the, the groupings a little bit for, uh, for specifically for trading options. If I was trading stock, I would not have to worry about that at all. But because I like options more than stock, this is just one more step I have to go through. But overall, it's still very quick and executions are instant. There are zero issues when it comes to fills on interactive brokers. They're fantastic. They're super fast. So I'm willing to deal with the little bit of a pain of having to click a few buttons to get everything set the way I like. But once, you know, like I mentioned before, I'm trading Tesla most of the time. So everything is preset prior to open. And if I get a nice win on Tesla off the open, I usually just call it a day. If you have any questions on how to configure it a little bit further, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll gladly help to the best of my ability. I hope your September is going a little bit better than mine. And I appreciate you watching and I will see you later.